Hello, my name is Kai Hendry, and I want to show you how to create templated emails uh, really easily using an interoperable standards and the least amount of my, uh, lines of code sort of possible. Why would you need email templates? I run a company, and when you send emails to customers, uh, usually they sort of form of a a certain theme like you know when you're starting to email a customer you are saying hello introducing yourself when you are sort of taking payment you're saying here's the invoice when someone hasn't paid you're saying here's a reminder um, maybe there's some sort of configuration issue and you've got to email them saying like this is such and such so basically I keep on writing the same sorts of emails again and again and again. So I thought, how do I um, make this easier? Of course, there is a lot of options out there. If you Google around, you can get, um, I mean, the obvious choice maybe is Gmail using canned responses, but what happens if you don't use Gmail? Like, so I, I'm, I'm using Fastmail uh, for some things. Um, what, um, you could probably use desk.com or some other third party thing to send the email. Or you could possibly write your own sort of PHP script that sent a mail out and such and so forth. Well, after a lot of thought, I basically came up with a pretty darn simple solution. So let me just show you how it works. I'm just going to record my desktop. So hopefully we can switch to my desktop. Okay, this is my desktop. Um, say you have a, a list of customers, right? and you need to email them. So basically uh, what it does is you select on the customer and then you go to this sort of interface and um, here's, the, here's the template. You know, just, just, uh, just a little uh, example for you. And then when you hit compose, using the mail to ha handler, it opens up a compose window uh, with um, with the Gmail, which is configured to handle mail to right now. Well, the brilliant thing about this is that you get to check over the template because you really don't want to send out boilerplate to emails. It's really, really trouble. I mean, if you want to, like, if you if you're sending it to someone you know, you can you can just you know like how is the weather uh, in Chicago or something like that, and uh, you know make it a little personal. I really really like to see personal emails. I don't know about you. Um, and then, then control enter to hit send. So how does it work underneath? How does it work underneath? It's really simple. Again, um, it's, it's, this is it. If I want to cr create a new template, um, say a new template. Here we go. Oh, well, you should, should say something like, hello there. Uh, this is another template. So the templates are just text files. Many thanks. Just text files uh, saved with a .text extension. And then what happens is that uh, a PHP script just uh, grabs all those text files and puts them one after another. And the, the main.js there, let's see if I can boost the size of the screen so you can see it easier. The main.js there, all it does is is take the um, crikey, what does it do, do here? It basically builds a mail to handler from when you click the the compose button. Simple enough. So, oops. Um, so back here, I uh, if I just refresh the page, I have a new template. And of course, I can just use that right now. And it's that same text file that I just wrote. It's so simple. The whole thing is, let's see, um, the whole thing is about 41 lines of code. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy about this because the other solutions that I came across were just a lot more complex than this. You might be wondering how to set up the handler. It's basically buried within Chrome settings, but this is what it looks like. And the mail to handler is, is uh, supported by uh, 
mail.google.com. I mean, I'm, I'm, you, can, you should be able to switch that to whatever email client that you use. Okay, that's the video. Using interoperable standards for the win. I hope you liked it.